How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Toy Table. I'm your host Steve and I'm joined by my co-host Ken down here. He's playing around and hopefully you're having a good weekend. It is Sunday and we had a great Sunday here so far. It is Grey Cup Sunday but we were at the flea market and it was the first time in quite a while we were there. So basically it was like looking at all fresh pegs for me and it's a good chance to load up on some of the older models of yours and I'm getting the itch to uh start load up and save up for another quarter century hot wheels mainline super tournament and that's where if i get enough of each individual year uh of main lines i open them up, open them up and race them and figure out the fastest one per year and then we get a big championship so anyways it was a good time it is also sunday i might do another happy sunday as we've made a few videos this week but just i've uploaded them but just never published them you forget and you move on and yada 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 so anyways you guys are here for the cars let's have a look first one here is this uh i guess indy 500 I, I got another one i don't i got another one today i forget 500 indy indy i don't know whatever it is but anyways as you guys know if you guys are fans of the channel i usually go after these pretty good and uh make sure i take them whenever i find them this one has a little bit of a turn to it yes do you know where the, the Woody and Buzz Lightyear are? Uh, yeah. Are they up there? They're Woody, but not me. Not Buzz? No. One sec there, people. No, I'm All right, so that's a nice one there. Fairly straight roller. We're back. Ken's got us what he was looking for. So anyways, at our second vendor we went to, bought a lot of cars off this guy over the year yours and uh yeah these were in his dollar bin so and uh it's nice to do these videos and actually have a closer look at them as the flea market was fairly busy you know and i just basically find the ones i don't have and i don't really have a good look at them but it's nice to have a look so what does that say even uh fits giggles fits giggles morris mini that one is, if anybody's curious, a 2003. So my hope was that maybe it's just my vendors that always get these 2001, 2003, 2002. They must have made tons of those. But I, I was hoping that, you know, they were just working on whoever they were buying them from. Uh, you know, running out of those collectors and then hopefully get into, you know, guys that were collecting heavy in 2011, 12, 13, 14. Because I don't find those too many. And I'm just Daddy. curious to know whether Daddy. people are unloading those yet or not. Yes. Ah, yeah, we saw that one today too. Anyways, what do we got here? We got a Vulture. I definitely like these ones. Uh, There's a Fantasy Casting. They've raced well here at the Toy Table Raceway. And uh, this one here, a 202. We'll pick it up here a bit because we got lots of cars. It's going to be a good show for you. Rapid Transit First Edition 2004. Never seen this one, otherwise I probably would have had it already. And I think we all have several Rapid Transits that we tend not to race. I got a few kicking around somewhere. Uh, next up, we got a Lotus Elise uh, 34, whatever 340R, and uh, yeah, I've never seen this one before. So, had to get it. Eventually, if we ever do the color tournament, nice silver there for the silver team. And this is right there at the Millennium 2000. Next up, we get a one from 2004. Forget whether I actually have this one now or not. I think I have it in a different color, Final Run, but I don't remember reading Final Run on it. But uh, the Sonic Special. And yeah, eventually we'll race it. I think I am getting loaded, loading up for another quarter century Hot Wheels mainline super tournament. 2005 Firestorm. I bought this one. We already have it. I raced in the last tournament, and I remember it kicking some butt and uh, showing well. So that's a 2005. It's nice how they put that there. Unfortunately, they don't do that anymore. Well, I guess they do only when it says new, new for. Yeah, I was a mumbling 2003 and it's a 
ALT Terrain Pikes Peak Tacoma. I forgot these ones just were the ones in the buck bin. You know, and he, and he noticed that I, I don't. He knows I just race, and he's like, "Oh, I'll, I'll get you more more different ones for a buck." Anyways, that's a nice one. Next up, we have a Pride Rides Dodge Concept. Dodge Concept Metal Base. And I'm curious to know whether it's going to beat that famous orange Dodge Concept for the Chrysler Concept. Shout out to that car. All right, we may as well keep up with the same vendor. Ornaments. <laughs> Just for fun. We got a trip planned here coming up, and Ken got this for his grandpa. You can kind of get the idea of what we're all doing as a family. <laughs> no, no, we're going to give that to Grandpa just like it is on Christmas. But you can't tell him we bought it, right? All right. So he was kind of reluctant to hand over this to me. I'm not sure how much he charged me as he kind of bought it. But this next few cars in a big lot. A, I just basically find the cars and I say, how much? So anyways, pardon me? What, what are you sounding out? Da, da. Da, da what? Daddy! Oh. Daddy. Anyways, 70 Plymouth Daddy, Super Daddy, B. Daddy. Apparently this is the rare Daddy. color and a different wheel form. Wheel. Daddy. Uh, hot and heavy over that one, yes. How would you make the sound of this? What, but you push that down. All right. This should look familiar from our Loops Championship. Got another one of these. Always take a GTO when I find it. I think I got one more today. I think I bought a Judge, actually. As I say, stay tuned, guys. The Pride Rides, the Cunningham car. Let's see whether that's gonna be fast. For the last few ones, it's I forgot to say working. what year it's from. 2003, it's 2004. It's not working. What? Well, Hold on. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, what's this guy from? 06. It's not working. Yeah, but we don't want to wear it out. Okay. <laughs> and another firestorm. I did get two of them from the what? same guy. Can I see? 2005. We have that. You could probably find it too. Why is it open right here? I don't know. Hey, bud, you remember this one? It's on the gold team. There it is. CCM Country Club Muscle. We, we have if you guys that are, one. Yeah, we do, in a few versions. If you're looking for a fast one on track, that is it. And I don't remember getting it. I don't remember getting it in as a main line. I forget what set it came out of, but it came out of a set, and... Daddy. It turned out to be lethal. Yes, we got two of them. Buttes. Two fast ones there, bud. Next up, another one I've never seen before. We got the Jet Threat. Look at that, Ken. It's got wings and wings. and It's looking pretty sweet. You heading upstairs? What did you, what did you take? You didn't take anything. Okay, and he was sneaking away like he took something. All right, we got a, a nitro door slammer. Look at those wheels. Could be the faster never style, but not saying it. Sometimes they're fast, sometimes they're slow as beans. And I think that's an 07 again. It says, yeah, oh, yeah, 2007. So that's a pretty sweet one there. And then, just for good measure, we got the color variation of it. As I said, it was a good day on the pegs. Got a lot accomplished. There's another gold one if we run the colors. And a red one. O sevens would be good to get, because I, I, I forget. I definitely, you know, if I run the mainline super tournament, I didn't have that many from like 06 to uh, 2012. So that's why, 
maybe another month or two of going to the flea market, looking around. We got a Wastelanders Plymouth Barracuda. And this one definitely looks pretty cool. I've never seen it. Anybody race it or show and tell it? So it's pretty basic up front. They it would look a whole lot better if they, you know, painted the lights and the grill on the side and the top. It looks pretty lethal. Okay, it's so skinny. That's that's it. We like our torpedoes, torpedoes around here as well. Let's face it, if I see it and I don't have it, I tend to buy it. Especially if it can roll or fit the track. Here's another 07 model I've never seen. We got a Roadhog. Every now and then you see them in five packs and uh, in sets. But I've never seen it as a, eh, maybe I have seen it as a mainline, but and it's in this color format. It looks very, very different. It'd be interesting to get a squad of those. It's a police force. The police force. All right. Planet Hot Wheels. We got a Pride Rides once again. Chevy Bel Air, 1959. And what does that say? Redfin. Yeah, Redfin. Magnaflow, really, really cool. Like the difference of the grill, and that's when this camera really fuzzes up, doesn't it? And it's a 2003 uh, Rocket Oil Special. We definitely like these ones around here in this house. And I never knew it really. I I don't really do too much research on these things. I just like it being a surprise when it comes up on the pegs. And uh, basically one of these on the purple team is our fast, one of our fastest track cars in the basement. So I wonder if that one's gonna be fast as well. Next up, HW Racing. It's a circle tracker. Just like we have the circle trucker, I guess we got circle trackers. All right. Five more from this second vendor we went to. And I've never seen this one either. The Rat Bomb. There's two there to buy. I should have bought both. But I really wanted to spread my cash around. Even though I ended up buying two Country Club Muscles. But I like that one. Kind of neat. And that's a 2008 Filling up the years for the quarter century. Hot Wheels Mainline Super Tournament. Never seen this one ever either. Racing or anyone else's thing. Channel, show and tell, whatever. It's a Work Cruisers Dodge Ram 1500 with the cab. Pretty cool. Let's see whether I can get the letters. Howlin' Hot Wolfman Pizza. Oh, oh. And look at the back. It looks like uh, Harry and the Hendersons there. He's got big teeth and eyes. Kids will go spooky. There's there's the za. Interesting way they cut that pizza. If anybody have cut pizza like that, I've never cut it like that where you just don't run the, the wheel straight through the za to cut it in half. Alright, I can feel my time running out, so I'm gonna go real quick here. Even though we're getting to the best cars, Ferrari Heat. Yep, I was surprised to see this one on the pegs for two bucks. Or if you buy a bunch of them, it gives you a break, but that's a metal base and a Ferrari 450. We don't race too many Ferraris. I haven't really opened them too much because uh, they're tough to find. They are tough to find. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't remember, Ken didn't remember that we bought this. This is kind of neat. Um, apparently this is for wrestling toys, right? And you put a guy on there, and then you go like that, and that's supposed to jump him into the ring. So I got that. Fortunately, the guy wanted five bucks for it, but I've never seen it, and I'm not even sure whether you can still buy them. But out of convenience, we got it. So we'll figure out how to use that in a race or a toy table 
production at some point. But then Kenny, he got Superman here holding this stoplight. And it, it's a pretty cool thing. It goes like that, but I wonder if I can... You squeeze his legs and he, he, he bashes you with this. Boom, boom. Oops. It really smashes, actually. Boom. All right. So there's Superman. Oh, he does stand, so... Superman can't... Oh. <laughs> hey, that's, that's that. that oh. Down it goes. All right, we got we got more cars here, boys. I see my phone's still recording, and that is a good that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And every minute I take more, uh, the more it's going to take to upload. And we actually got to get going because it is Great Cup, and we're going to watch it at my my parents' place. Circle Tracker, that's two. Again, if I seen this before, I probably would have seen it. Oh, and this vendor, he definitely has better not better cars pay a little more um is that a treasure hunt no it is a treasure hunt well will you look at that that's a flame it's not coming in for us but uh all right but yeah you get three cars for uh five bucks three new cars all pretty minty cards i don't know how he stores them so well or so long and the weird thing is he's a he's a vendor there but he's never there I've never seen him the, the, the guy across the aisle has the keys and probably wonder probably, I think the guy across the aisle wishes he, you know he uh, sold Hot Wheels himself because whenever I'm there I load well today I got 40 bucks worth so 24 cars 97 Corvette purple I have a sore spot for purple cars not that I like them but uh, purple and pink cars are tough to find. And purple and pink in our color series, well, they've basically placed last each time. Or actually, I think they did made some strides in Season 3. Um, here's the 11 Corvette Grand Sport. I've never seen it in this color. And nice paint on the back. Didn't notice it in the store or in the flea market. So, boom, there was five bucks. Let's have another look at uh, five bucks. We've got another matte black. Fair amount of matte black cars I saw today. Forgot to say the years on those, but who cares? Ford Shelby GR1 Concept. This is an 06. And uh, another minty card. Another car possibly for a quarter century. And here's another one. We've got a Roll Patrol. 410. I've got quite a few of these Roll Patrols and the Saline S7 Police. Nice looking car, Pursuit Car. Pursuit Car number 5. How many of these things do they need to have a squad? And nothing on the back. Boom, boom. Oh no, this isn't it. But this is a nice one here. Never seen it. Never seen anybody show, show and tell. We got a 70 Dodge Charger RT. Silver silver seats. Makes it kind of look corny, but it's all right. Purple base. And it, it does have a little rattle. I was going to say, it's, it's in there. All right, next up, what do we got here? A Reverb. And I've, I don't recognize this casting. Can't say I've seen it too many times. But that's going to be nice on the chrome and silver. If it can make the team, it's got a metal base as well. And another casting I have a sore spot for because it's gen they're generally pretty fast. And it's a stocker. stocker. And uh, 2005 first edition. I'm pretty sure I have this already. Or I've opened it. But even then, I don't really know where it is amongst my collection. Open or not. All right, we're coming down, coming down to the end of the first bag. Oh, yeah, there's some Lucy's in there. Some interesting loose. Bear with me here, boys. OK, 
Okay, next up, got another Nitro Door Slammer. And that's an 011, so I guess, yeah, the uh, early two, or early 10s of the 2000s are starting to show up a little more. All right, 2005, first, first edition, Aston Martin V8 Vantage. And yeah, I think they, I think whoever said it there in a little video a little while ago, you really want to go after those first editions, um, especially of the car cars. Not because they're more valuable, but usually they just, they don't put any graphics on it and they paint and they make the, the headlights and back tail lights look good. That's my assessment on that. Here's a, a straight pipes first edition 07. Mm, here it is, sure enough, first edition. They got the flames on it, but it's still pretty basic. They left a lot of, and basically this is a car. If it didn't have flames, it, it was built for flames, right? Uh, another Premier, basically making it, making it look like just you could, could have bought it. You know those stripes were real. And nice clean 10 Ford Shelby Mustang GT 500, 500. So we got some Lucy's. Here's a cool one, Marlboro and Texaco on a kid's toy. And I was really curious, it didn't have a track there. Ah, it's too wide. It's a matchbox. Formula 500 made in England. But it rolls. It rolls pretty good. Anyway, so I took that one home. And then we got this really neat garbage truck. And it's Matchbox. Source bought for Matchboxes as well. Made in China. But the interesting thing here, it's like, it just like, it has this moving lever. And it I, well, I, I rolled it on the floor. It rolls pretty good. I don't think that's the slowest car I've ever bought. Not the fastest either, but definitely a new one for our collection. And here we go. Here's another Matchbox, apparently from 2009. Now, I'm not sure whether this one... I think she knows what she's doing. She... I think she uh, eBay's all these things, but like she's got a massive. I, I, she she's really organized. She's got a massive booth and like everything's labeled like you know little Sesame Street figurines and Disney and Cars cars and non Cars cars. So Delivery Express rolled okay. Might be a diamond in the rough. You never know. Diamond in the rough. All right, we're coming down to it. Last bag, 24, no, 12 more cars. 12 more cars, still some crown jewels coming up. What's up, buddy? Hey, did you remember, that, did you forget something today? Look at this, here's your thing. I showed and tell that. <laughs> Ken liked this one. It says hockey on it. Ken had a great, great hockey practice today. He really made some good strides, uh, skating with two feet, and some and, nice stuff. Some I nice want stops. That because I like hockey. Sure, you can have it now. It's uh 2002. Uh, I probably don't you, want to use you, it right now. Okay, we'll add the stack. All right, the Dodge Sidewinder, and we bought this because we love popcorn. And I've never seen anyone have this one. Popcorn on the side. Pop, pop, pop. Sidewinder. That's your Sidewinder. Okay. Next up, Jaguar uh, XK8. Hundred grand. Why am I is that that's a chocolate bar? Is it not? Yeah, Nestle. We don't have those up here north of the border. But maybe the 100 grand bar is replaced by our coffee crisp. How do you like your coffee crisp? Here's a Hot Wheels 500. 
And I've been waiting for this one to come up just to compare it. Uh, they, sorry, off camera. They're, they're, they're slightly different, aren't they? This back end looks different. But this Hot Wheels 500, Hot Wheels 500, um, yeah, I've got a few of these now. I think in a video a year ago or, or more, I said the Hot Wheels variations that I have that I only have one of that I wish to find more. Yeah, the jump ramp. First editions, GT, uh, 4GT40. Well, mummy's, mummy's home. And bling, 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 here's the gold. Gold rush.